Welcome back. We have Corey Signer in the kitchen from Fisherman's Market. I'm trying to quickly look up this, uh, so Chia Pino. <laughs> We're making a seafood Chia Pino. I got it. How are you? I can't believe, you know, I asked like everybody here. Nobody a bunch here of people. Knows. Nobody knew, like Chia Pino, it's pretty common. There's people out there watching us right now that also don't know what it is, but it's because you're in the cooking market and we I know, know I guess, all the words. You know, I'm going to be like, if someone was like, well, what is a Chia Pino? I don't know exactly. It's a seafood, it's a seafood tomato based broth. Okay. Uh, no, it's soup, basically. Mm -hmm. Seafood mm -hmm. soup. Changing in the seasons. Yeah. So we're going with, you know, something that warm me up. Good autumn. Good autumn food. I like that the most about the changing of the seasons in the winter and autumn. You get the slow cooker going. You get soups and chowders and yeah. stuff like that. It's really, really good. Um, we've just got some celery, some onion, and some garlic in the pan right now. Mm -hmm. And we're just kind of sauteing that. And we're going to get... Uh, We've got prawns and scallops here. Mm -hmm. um, they come in a, a like a one pound pack at the shop. Uh, it's a wild Argentina prawn and a dry pack uh, organic ocean wise scallop. Uh, and they're like really reasonable. It's like under 20 bucks for mm -hmm. a pack of those. And then we've got some St. Jean's clam nectar. Is that um, nice? Yeah, it's the best clam nectar ever out in Nanaimo, BC. Clam and some nectar. savory clams from uh, Vancouver Island as well. Are they still alive right now? They're, they they're are, still right? alive. They're still, they're still with us until we warm them up. So I was honestly, I was, I was actually going to cook something different. Mm -hmm. And then last night we went, I was in town for a couple of days. I was doing some sales calls and, nice. you know, hanging out with the staff a little bit and kind of, you know, whatever. And I went to the Noble Pig. Mm -hmm. Noble Pig uh, is uh, a big supporter of the Fisherman's Market. Good. Uh, the head chef there, Jared, is phenomenal. The, the He's food, been on my show. He's an excellent food, cook. Oh, the food at this place is it's just... Fun. It is. Super fun, super unbelievable, very gastro pub. And I think it's like a... One of a kind for, for it is. the city of Kamloops. Yeah. It was packed. It packed. always is. They do very well. Megan Summers, uh, again, she's on my show, and uh, it's her husband that's the chef there. Yeah, that's Did you right. Know that? The general manager is his wife. Yeah, They're he cool sat people. down, and he had, a yeah. he had a pint with us last night. And yeah. then me and one of the Kamloops guys had a couple more than just a pint. But and took a cab home. Well, it was why he, he lived right there. It was walking distance. So, yeah, no, I would never drink and drive. Never. And, uh, but, yeah, no, so he had a booyah base on his thing, and I said, you know what, I'm going to do this. So I'm cooking this today. So we've got our prawns and scallops. We've added them into the celery, the onion, and the garlic. Um, and then for, for this kind of a dish, for a chia pino, it's thyme mm -hmm. and chili. That or the, the red. Wow, the red pepper flakes. They're not super spicy, but you just want to have a teaspoon Don't of rush. That. We still have a full four minutes. I'm totally not rushing. It's Don't just rush. it'll take a while once I get the liquid in. Yes. And I'm going to be pushing the boundaries for what this pan can handle. Right. But I don't care. What, do you, what kind of boundaries? Heat boundaries? No, just like the size. Okay. It's going to be overflowing. That's like, awesome. okay. We're going to take a chance on it. But you know, it's, um, again, and I know I push this a lot when I'm on the show, but seafood can be, seafood is expensive but it doesn't have to be expensive to cook. Mm -hmm. You don't have to break the bank to make meals like this. Mm -hmm. This is going to feed four people really well with yes. a nice baguette. You're, you're going to be at $5 a bowl for a phenomenal meal that's 30 bucks in a restaurant. Exactly. And, and you know, so you come into the market, these kind of things are fantastic. And i got to say, I'm aware of an error that I've been making. What error? Recently. I went to make, for my family, the Thai coconut mussels that I made on Delish. the show a couple weeks yes. ago. I had my parents over. I'm like, I got a five-pound bag. It's a great deal. It's going to make, make this dish. And I went onto the website, and as fun as I am to watch on television, I don't have the ingredients there. So you got to oh. watch it. You, so if you go to the website and you go to the recipe section, there's not, like, the ingredients and everything. So you got to watch the video. And it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't just okay. I wanted to watch the video to see how I cooked it, but... Anyways, all the ingredients, if anybody's using our recipes and they're going on the website and stuff like that, I'll have that fixed, uh, okay, fixed up right away. Okay, good to know. Just so that they can go, hey, I need all these ingredients. Then sure. you can watch the video if you want. Good to thing. know. So that website, the fishermansmarket.ca? Fishermansmarket.ca. Perfect. Absolutely, that's us. Fantastic. Um, uh, some more news in the industry is mm -hmm. we've got uh, Sablefish Month is coming up in November. Mm. So we've got 15 days until Sablefish starts, it's a whole Sablefish sale. Uh, you buy the sable fish, we cut it, fillet it, portion it right off the boat kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Quality is astounding. Sable fish. Have you ever had sable fish? I have, and it's delicious. Isn't it super yes. amazing? It is very good. I had it in Victoria. So our prawns and scallops are done here. And then for the tomato part of the broth, we've got diced tomatoes. Um, so this is sort of like the base. It's the flavor. Yeah, this is the base. Yeah, totally. Behind the scenes flavor. And that gets some of your um, liquid in there, the liquid from the diced tomatoes. And then we've got St. Jean's clam nectar. And again, this, this kind of stuff is all BC, BC made, BC produced, local ingredients, local stuff. They got clean ingredient labels. Everything here is, 
Yeah, you only got one thing on there, and it's cl clam nectars mm -hmm. and salt. You know, can you so just it's... pick this up anywhere? Or? Oh, you can, um, no, you can pick it up at the Fisherman's Market. You can only get it at the Fisherman's Exclusive Market. Exclusive at the Fisherman's Market. Of course, uh, of course. I, I'm sure they would have it in other places, but, but it's you have not more something. Fun buying it at Fisherman's Market, I don't think right? it's something you can just go to the. You can go to like Save On or Save yeah, yeah, and buy. Yeah. Uh, you might be specific. able to. I'm not. I would never downsell any other company. Sure. I just don't think it's it's a bit of an exclusive. Sure. So at the end of this dish, we're gonna let this heat up. We're gonna throw our clams in, and then as soon as the clams open, this dish is done. It looks visually stunning. It's a fantastic dish. Mm -hmm. While we're on soups and chowders, I'm a huge chowder guy. I love chowder. I love chowder. Whites, reds, such clam chowder is like mm. my all-time favorite. Corn chowder. Oh, and I just, right? I love it. I make phenomenal chowders. I make it at home all the time. I make huge stock pots full, mm -hmm. and then we kind of freeze them down so we have a couple meals yeah, worth. Yeah, gotta do that. If you're making clam chowder, and you can use a, a bit of like live clams in there, but this stuff here, it's gonna be our feature product of the week. It's a clear water uh, clam, uh, clear water surf clam meat. Okay. It's out of Alaska, so it's all Alaskan surf clams. It's got the cleanest ingredient label. It's a bright orange clam, so it's beautiful to look at. And it's just, it's nice to be able to have this kind of stuff and not worry about where, totally. where it's coming from. Totally. It's a clean, healthy product. It, the, the product label, it's not from processed in China or anything mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. So it's just a lovely dish. Is awesome. that the 30 second? Yeah, I've got like kind of the weather and everything. This means 30 seconds. Okay. And so we're there. We All have right. to say goodbye. But no, that's no, okay. No. We're going to sort of get that clo beautiful close-up shot there. And uh, we can see that we're just going to now wait for the clams to open and then you, you let it boil down a bit, basically. Oh, yeah, this is it. Basically, you can make this ahead of time. Soup's one of those things that's great. You can make it and just heat it up for dinner kind of thing. The more it sits, the better it is. Uh, but that is uh, seafood chiapino, everything from the fisherman's market. Quick, fast, inexpensive. And you can check out more at the uh, fisherman's market. Fishermansmarket.ca. Fantastic, where you can also get the ingredients. Uh, <laughs> great. We're going to quick, uh, quickly take a look at our one-day forecast for the caribou. Looks like we're in for a bit of a change as we get into the weekend. Pacific Frontal System brings some moisture. 14 degrees the high in the caribou. We're going to see 17 under a mix of sun and clouds in the North Thompson. 18 with rain in the Nicola Valley. And at the Shushwap as well, we could see a few showers. Finally, in Cantaloupes as well. Increasing clouds throughout the day. 11 degrees, chance of a shower. Here's how to get a hold of us, cfjctv.com. If you would like to go to the Black Dog String Quartet, email me at that address, midday at cfjctv.com. I have two tickets. It's tomorrow night. Thanks for being here, Corey. Thanks for having us. All right, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. Bye for now.